Here are the aloe plants that have begun to bloom. Now we are going to harvest the leaves to make this rooting agent, but we are always going to try to look for the ones that are lower down and not the ones at the top, because they are the ones that will have the most nutrients to prepare this rooting agent. It is important that we grow aloe vera in direct sunlight because this will ensure that we have much better developed leaves and makes the plant grow much faster. We are going to see how to plant aloe vera shortly, especially in case you have already obtained seeds and want to have new varieties. And we are not going to try to harvest these leaves, which are the youngest, which are almost at the top, where the apical bud is, but rather we are going to try to look for these leaves that are at the bottom of everything, and we are going to make a cut very close to where they are joined, so that they heal much better. By harvesting from the bottom, not only will we have larger leaves with more nutrients, but we will also leave the entire base of the plant clean so that it can continue growing from the top. And these that were left here in the shade, because they will no longer be photosynthesizing well. So we leave all the upper leaves, which are the ones that will receive the most sunlight so that they can gather more energy. And these will be more than enough to start making all this preparation. Because now I will show you how to dehydrate them, because we will need them to be completely dry. In these cases, I have it in a pot to protect it from the cold and what I do is remove the lower leaves, the ones that are already quite dehydrated, to make this rooting agent. And this will not only stimulate us to have much fleshier leaves on top, but it also stimulates the appearance of new shoots from below, which we can then separate to form new plants with all these lateral shoots that come out from below. Once we harvest the leaves, we will see that it is normal for all this yellow liquid to leak from the tips. What I am going to recommend here is that you leave these leaves for at least a day. More than anything, I recommend that you leave them so that all this yellow liquid comes out. Although it will not be a problem for this rooting agent that we are going to make, it is more so that it does not dirty the place where we are going to be working, because now, this leaf that is full of water, we are going to have to let it dry until we are left with practically a completely dry aloe vera leaf. And I do this whole process with a rope, because what we are going to do now is tie these leaves to hang them so that we speed up the entire dehydration process. And to dehydrate them faster, we are going to leave them hanging with the cut that we made facing downwards so that the excess water can also come out by gravity until we achieve that the entire leaf is completely dry. I'll wrap it twice to make a knot that holds better. And from the tip we're going to tighten it, but not too hard because if we do this too hard, the leaf will break and we'll be left with this whole cut part. So now we'll have the leaf to start this whole dehydration process. And now what we're going to do is wrap it twice with all the leaves that we have left and we're going to put the other aloe vera leaf. And we're going to do the same with all the leaves that we harvest. Keep in mind that since this leaf has a lot of water, it's going to take a long time to dehydrate. And this will mostly depend on the climate in which we're living. We can make a hook at the tip and just like that, we're going to hang them in a place that doesn't get sun, but where there's good air circulation, because what we're going to want now is for all this to dry as quickly as possible so we can start processing all these aloe leaves. Here I have some that I put to dehydrate almost 15 days ago. It's practically winter now. The dehydration process will be much slower, but over time we will end up with leaves like these others that I have here in the back which are very dry and will not have any water. This is what we need because now we are going to have to turn all these aloe vera leaves into a very fine powder so that we can mix it with the cinnamon. And before processing them, I recommend that you cut them with scissors to get small pieces, because this will make it much easier to process them to get this aloe vera powder. We are going to do this with all these aloe vera leaves, which are important to be very dry. We are going to put them in a blender. This is so that the blade helps us crush them well and we end up with this aloe vera powder. Here I recommend that you use a small amount and process it little by little. 
At first it takes a little time, but then you start to crush all these dried aloe leaves well and then you start to see all the aloe vera powder, which is what we are going to use now to make this rooting agent. Since there are still many remains of leaves that were not processed well, we are going to pass them through a strainer to separate everything that was not processed from the aloe vera powder. This is what we have to take out and separate it from all these leaves that were very hard and that were not processed well. And there we finish separating. Look how it turned out. It is super nutritious, especially when we make cuttings such as rosemary, rose, lavender, so that once the small roots are taken out they already have the necessary nutrients so that the plant can continue developing. To prepare this rooting agent, here is the processed aloe vera that we just made and we are going to use cinnamon to combine the power of aloe with cinnamon. Here it is in a branch, it would have to be processed to make a powder so that it can be mixed well with all this aloe, and if not, we are going to use the cinnamon powder directly. And the proportions that we are going to use are going to be 1 to 1 cinnamon with aloe vera. We are going to put 5. We clean the spoon and we are going to put about 5 of the aloe vera that we made in powder. In equal parts, cinnamon and aloe. We mix it well and in this way we are going to combine the power of the cinnamon that will help us with healing, to prevent fungus attacks. And on the other hand, the aloe vera is what is going to provide all the nutrients so that the branches that we put to root, once the roots come out, will have all the nutrients they need. And now we are going to store this in a jar that is very clean for when we need to use it, for when we make our cuttings and thus speed up the entire rooting process. It is important to cover the jar well and store it in a dark place so that light does not reach it. We can use this rooting powder, for example, to propagate lavender. We are going to try to remove the smallest shoots. We remove the leaves and, just at the tip, we are going to dip it in this mixture of aloe and cinnamon. Then, we put it in a pot and cover it to keep the moisture in. On the other hand, it works very well in the case of rosemary, especially when we want to root branches that are very long. Here I recommend that you make the cut diagonally so that we have a larger surface area and can apply more of this aloe and cinnamon. For example, we can use it when we want to propagate roses. We are going to try to make a very diagonal cut so that there is a large contact surface. This way, the cinnamon and the aloe will be able to interact better for better rooting. And for rosemary, lavender, and roses, once we root them, it is important that the plants are in a humid environment, because since they do not yet have roots, if we leave them outdoors, it is very likely that they will end up dehydrating and they will never end up rooting. We can make different types of humid chambers, such as, for example, with a pot and an inverted bottle. We can also use a drawer where we replace all the walls with nylon and this will not only allow more light to pass through, but it will also maintain a high level of humidity so that, for example, in this case, with roses, rooting is much more efficient. And here are the lavender branches that I rooted. They are the ones we made in a previous video. And notice how they already have a lot of new leaves. We are going to keep it closed so that it continues to retain humidity until we see that they are fully active. I send you a big greeting, and I hope you have a nice day. Bye!